Hi, I'm Anders from Embedded Artist. Today, everyone is used to smartphone-like, sophisticated, responsive and nice-looking graphical user interfaces with smooth animations, because everyone has a smartphone. I'm guessing that your next product has requirements to have a smartphone-like, sophisticated, responsive and nice-looking graphical user interface with smooth animations, because that is the standard nowadays. This type of graphical user interfaces typically requires an application processor with a graphical processing unit, or GPU for short, to get good performance. This is especially true for larger screen resolutions. The lower end processors in the iDotMX family do not have a GPU. This is for example true for the iDotMX 6 Ultralight, 6 ULL, 7 Dual and 7 Solo. Does this mean that you cannot use these cheaper processors for creating smartphone-like user interfaces? The answer is no. On the contrary, you can use these lower-end iDotMX family members to get excellent results. We have partnered up with Draupner Graphic, the Danish company that has a unique software framework for graphical user interfaces called TouchGFX. This framework does not require a graphical processing unit to give a responsive user interface with good performance, nor does it consume a lot of CPU time. TouchGFX is now supporting Linux-based applications. We have a TouchGFX port and demo application available for our IMX6 Ultralight, IMX6 ULL and both our IMX7 dual boards. So now, you can develop your next sophisticated graphical user interface project in no time, on cheap hardware. For more information about TouchGFX, visit the website. Let me demonstrate TouchGFX running on our IMX6 Ultralight developers kit. The demo looks the same on our IMX7 Dual developers kit. Okay, so uh, here we have an IMX6 Ultralight and we have a 7 inch display with resolution 800 times 480 pixels. This is the demo application. You can um, browse a number of different applications. We can start with... Um, uh, the, these are a number of different controls that you can test here. We have... Uh, meter, for example. And you can set the value yourself. Next we can have a look at... Um, this is a demonstration that it's very easy to change language next we can have a look at graphs can have pie charts also, for example. We can have different formats also. And then there is a simple little game also. This is just a simple demonstration of how nice looking graphical user interfaces you can create with Touch GFX. If you have any questions, don't hesitate to contact us. Thank you for watching.